Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to subtract hexadecimal. I have seven examples. Let us learn how to subtract hexadecimal. In our first example, we're going to take B minus 7 in base 16. B is 11, and of course 7 is 7. But I rewrote that in decimal, and it kind of looks like this, 11 minus 7. Now, how I work this out with this formula, this works in any base, base 2, base 8, base 10, base 16, this technique. So when you take away, when you borrow from this, you bring that number over as 10. And then you say 10 minus 7 is 3. And then 1 plus 3, you know, the subtraction value is 4. And that's what this column equals, is 4. Um, children are normally taught how to bring over a 10 and then add it to this number and then do subtraction. Well, that is not base 10 mathematics. That is, uh, you got to use more fingers, right? I'm not sure what base that would be. So, but this right here will always give you the ability to use the base. So on here, you see the answer is 4. Now with this one right here, you have to know this is 11, you have to know this is seven, and the answer is four. That's our first. Our next subtraction problem is 26 minus A. This is in base 16. Let's see how we can solve this. Can we take a from 6? No, we cannot. So we have to come over to this column. And what do we do? We decrement this one. So the first step is to take 1 away from this, but 1 is actually a 16. So this is 1 plus a 16. And then we say, what is 16 minus A? And we know A is 10, so that would be 6. And then 6 plus 6 is 12 and 12 is C. So the answer for this column is C. And we don't have anything here, so the answer is 1C. Let us check this. Let's get in hex mode. And then that was 2, 6 minus an A and equals 1C. There you have that. Now here's our next question, 345 minus 6F. Now this is in hex. So what do we do first? We do this first column and can we take F from five? Well, F is 15. So you should be saying, no, you cannot do that. So you borrowed a 10 from here, but a 10 in hex is 16. So we decrement this side to 3, and then we put a 16 up here. So the steps are we would take 16 minus F, and we know F is 15. So that is 16 minus 15 is 1. And then we add that to the 5, so it's 5 plus 1. So the value for this column is 6. In our next column, we have 3. Take away 6 from 3? Well, you can't do that. But we can take away from here, borrow, if you will. Let's do that. When we borrow from the next column, we decrement this one, and then we put the whatever base we're in up top. It is then this number, the base, minus the bottom. So what is 16 minus 16? six that is 10 and then 10 plus 3 is 13 so this is d and then we just bring down the two let's bring over the calculator and let's see if this is right let's clear so we say 345 i'm in hex mode minus 6f equals 2d6. There you have it. Well, step one, can I take an f 
away from an E of 15 from a 14? No. So I have to come subtract one over here. So I decrement this by one, which is A, and then bring over a 16. And then 16 minus 15 is one. E plus one is 15, which is F. In the second column, notice that we have A and E. Can you take an E from an A? No, you can't take 14 from 10. So we have to come over here and borrow. So this goes to an eight. And then we bring over our 16. And then 16 minus, what is E? 14 is two. Two plus A is 13, I mean C, 12. And let's just finish this up. Borrow six, 16. 16 minus 15 is one. One plus eight is nine and six. So let's see if our calculator agrees with us. And our number is hex, 7, 9, B, E, minus F, E, F. Here we go. 6, 9, C, F. And there you have it. And here is our next question. Why don't you pause this video, try to solve this problem with our technique, and see if we come up with the same answer. So can we take 15 from zero? No. So borrow from here. We cannot borrow. We have to come borrow from here. So this goes to a zero. And this came over as a 16. And now we can borrow one. So this goes to 15. And this goes to 16. So 16 minus 15 is one. And then 15, which is F, 15 minus 15 is zero. And then this doesn't work, so we have to come borrow one. So this would go to zero, and this is a 16. So 16 minus 14 is two. Two plus zero is two. And then this doesn't work. So we take this to E, and this is plus the 16. So 16 minus D, so 16 minus 13 is three. Three plus zero is three, and then E. And let's check the calculator and see if we have the, so we're gonna say uh, hexadecimal F, one one zero zero minus D E F F drum roll E three two zero one we got it now at first look this may look difficult but it's just a technique that we need to follow let's follow it and solve this problem hit pause now you solve it let's check it at the end can we take a 15 from a 14? Nope. Let's go borrow one, reduce that to E, bring over a 16. 16 minus 15 is one. One plus 14 is a 15, F. And that is our first column. Now our second column, we have to come all the way over here and borrow one. So let's borrow one from here. So that goes to an E and we bring a 16 here. And then we have to borrow one from here and bring a 16 here. And then borrow one from here and bring a 16 here. And then borrow one from here and bring a 16 here. And then borrow one from here and bring a 16 here. Okay, so now we say, what is 16 minus 15? K 
Okay, 16 minus 15 is 1. 1 plus e is f. 15 minus 15, 0. 15 minus 15, 0. 15 minus 15, 0. 15 minus 15 is 0. E minus E, you know, 14 minus 14 is 0. Your answer is FF. Let's check our work. Let's make sure we're in hex mode, and then that was uh, F. One, two, three, four, four zeros. One, two, three, four, and then an F, and then E minus E. One, two, three, four, five, six Fs. One, two, three, four, five, six equals FF. And there you have it.